Birrigini will not be beaten. Good stop, Birrigini. And what a stop from Mark Birrigini. It is a fantastic save. Saved by Birrigini in his hometown. How do you describe those three years so far? Yeah, it's gone pretty quick, actually. Um, yeah, look, obviously, uh, you know, spending four years overseas, um, you know, it was, it was amazing, great experience, but playing at the highest level and, you know, amongst some unbelievable players, you know, it was, uh, was a dream come true. I've always wanted to, you know, play in the Premier League since I was a young kid. So when I got the opportunity to, to go overseas, you know, for me, it was, uh, it was a no-brainer. Obviously, uh, after that, found myself at Melbourne City, which was, uh, which was pretty tough. Um, I signed a three-year deal there. Um, obviously things uh, didn't go according to plan and then I was lucky enough that you know the Mariners uh, gave me the opportunity and, and had a bit of faith in me and you know for me it was a no-brainer. Um, you know I love playing football and to not play at Melbourne City for a year that really hurt me so you know I've been around the league now for, for a number of years and you know I'm glad that you know I'm at a club like the Mariners and you know this is home for me now. And Giannu is in behind Birrigini again. Mark Birrigini will not be beaten. Was it a tough decision to join the Mariners, given that at the time you joined, I mean, they'd gone through a real bad patch, and you know, there were a lot of signs there that maybe they weren't going to get out of that, that patch. You, yeah. Yeah, obviously coming from overseas, and even when I was overseas, you know, I paid a strong attention to to the A League, and you know, I could see that you know the Mariners were you know last and, and always struggling for for whatever reason. I can say at first hand, you know, the dressing room that we've got here is, is unbelievable. It's a it's a great dressing room, one of the best dressing rooms that I've been a part of. And yes, obviously it was uh, you know I had um, chats with Stadge at the time and the coaching staff and. He wanted me to join the club in, in, in a leadership role and, you know, being a, a more experienced player and, and, a, and, and a voice, um, you know, that was, a, that was a challenge that I wanted to accept. Um, you know, it's been great. We've had our ups and downs. Um, and then, yeah, last year we turned it around. Um, it was a, an amazing year last year, obviously disappointing how it all ended. Petratos, Petratos opens up the space, finally. Birrigini made himself big. Well, what was the biggest lesson you took from you know, your, your, your uh, stint overseas? Holland was very, very tough. You know, it was a challenge for me. Obviously, not uh, not playing in the UK and here in Australia. Like young players, don't realise how lucky we've got it. You know, overseas, it's a real, it's a, it is tough, especially for a foreigner. You know, it's hard. Um, obviously, I made the move to Holland. You know, for the first four or five months, the club absolutely loved me. I couldn't do anything wrong. But then when um, you're not performing and the team's not performing, because I'm a foreigner, I got left out to dry. And that was hard, you know, having, you know, fighting a relegation battle, you know, not being able to leave your apartment, not being able to go out for dinner, you know, with your wife and that. Um, you know, at home games, getting booed by your own supporters. You know, it was challenging. So. Look, it was an experience, um, you know, a difficult experience, but something that I will um, look back, you know, in the future and, uh, you know, think to myself that it was, uh, it was an, uh, an amazing opportunity that I had. And Birrigetti saves it. Guessed the right way. Stood up long enough. Read it well. There's a great camera angle of the Birrigetti glare. He read it well. Read the body language. Saved comfortably. Goalkeeper of the year last season, twice named in the PFA team of the season. That must give you great satisfaction. Yeah, obviously, you know, it's uh, it just goes to show that you know all the hard work and you know training and long hours and you know those little one percenters that you do off the field. Um, you know, the past couple of years, I've really taken that seriously, and you know, I think it's shown in the performances over the past two seasons. In just his sixth match. The A-League men's called across, here come McArthur, maybe not. That is one of the saves of the season from Mark Birrigini. That's the best you'll see. I know there's one thing close to your heart, um, the national team. One game for the national team in uh, 2013. Obviously there's some great competition there. We've got some great goalkeepers, but yeah. How do, you, how do you think you stack up against them? You know, I'm a proud Australian and when I get that opportunity to represent the green and gold, you know, I'll die for it and, um, 
You know, obviously a bit disappointing to, to miss out on the last few camps. You know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to lie about that. As you mentioned, you know, there's a lot of strong competition. You know, the Australians, we, you know, we, we produce a lot of good Australian goalkeepers. And, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, I just have to keep doing my thing. Um, you know, but when I get that opportunity, yeah, you know, you know, I'll die to get back in the national team. Um, you know, I'm proud Aussie, and you know, if I get that call up, you know, I'll be, uh, you know, proud to, to go into camp and you know, showcase what I can do. It's saved. Berrettini comes up with a stop, and Wayne is denied. Saved by Berrettini in his hometown. That's big. And what a stop from Mark Berrettini, flying through the air. It would have been a fantastic goal. It is a fantastic save by Viragini.